people. Everywhere, put it on. Write it down and keep your, keep it on your notes. Keep tabs on it. So yeah. So, so. I get on Skype yesterday. So I'm on Skype. So I get on Skype and I'm on Skype. And who should call me on? Skype. Video Skype. Who should call me on Skype but Steve Jobs calling me. You know, I say, Jobs, great to see you, great to see you on Skype, great to be chatting, video chatting, great to video chat with you. He goes, yes, yeah, same. I go, what's new, Jabs? What's new? He goes, well, I got some pretty big news. I go, just hit me with it, because I can hardly wait. He goes, my wife's leaving me. I go, Jabs, why would you leave your wife? She's a beautiful sex machine. And she gave you three wonderful Aryan children. What more could you possibly ask for? He goes, no, 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 you got it all backwards. My wife is leaving me. I said, drops. Why? You're the CEO of Apple. You, Jams, you invented the computer. Why would she leave you? Jabs, you're a legend in your own time. Jabs. What does she possibly have against you? Just tell me, Jabs. Just just hit me with it, because I can hardly wait. He goes, well, a number of things. Number one. Number one. She doesn't approve of me buying alcohol for our underage grandchildren, I said, Jabs, Jabs, they're six and ten years old. I think they're at the age now where they can decide for themselves what's right and wrong and best for their bodies. Plus, you have a restraining collars around their necks so they don't run into the road when they're boozed. So what's a big deal? He goes, there's more. I go, how could there possibly be more? He goes, well, well, she found out that I was, I have been peeping Tom, peeping Tom on Wozniak's wife with Steve Bowman. I go, Jabs, how could she possibly blame you? Wozniak's wife is a scorchingly hot babe. It's like a sushi bar up there. The woman undresses in front of her window right by a gigantic tree. She's asking for it. It's like Christmas, Jabs. What man could possibly resist? But Jabs, why are you peeping Tom with Baum? He's a Nazi, Jabs, and a total nutcase. Jabs, he's the CEO of Microsoft. Jabs, he's a lunatic. What are you doing hanging around with him? He goes, I don't know. I don't know, I like him, he's a nice guy. I go, fine, Jobs, but is there anything else? He goes, he goes, yeah, there is. I go, what is it? He goes, I waved him like the way I handled the whole cancer situation. We're recovering from cancer, you know, recovering. Recovering from it, she didn't like it, but bought a new liver on the black market. 
from a dying old man, from the dying man on the black market. She didn't like I bought a liver, jumped, you know, skipped ahead in line because I'm wealthy. Steve Jobs, you know, CEO of Apple. She didn't like I bought a liver on the black market. I said, Jobs, you're one of the most influential people on the entire planet. You invented the personal computer and also laptop computers. Also, you invented the dot matrix printer, and you're coming out with a whole new line of classic retro trim jab, retro computer, and other appliances jabs. You're a legend in your own time, and you're an influential person around the world. What's a big stink about jabs? He goes, he goes, I don't know. He goes, I don't know, but she's leaving me. I go, Jabs, that's a real stinker. Tell me what I'll do for you. What about you and I go to the, how about you and I go to, go downtown, go to Lorenzo's, knock back a couple of brouhaha's, get hammered, and try to get lucky with some beautiful teeny boppers. Jobs, what do you say? He goes, yeah, that's just about what I need right now. That sounds fantastic. I'll meet you at Lorenzo's in 25 minutes. I said, Jobs, I can hardly wait. I'm tickling with anticipation. 